we wish to stress that the Baha'is are not anti-Iran, far from it. Baha'is have a great love for Iran. It is, after all, the birthplace of their faith. However, Baha'is have been subjected to intense persecution in that country, with tens of thousands of deaths in the early years, and the continuing abuse of their human rights to this very day. Baha'is are not protected under the Iranian constitution and are regarded as unprotected infidels. Some still remain in prison solely because of their faith. In order to understand the reason why this persecution occurs, we need to know about the appearance of a new religious message in Iran in the 1840s and the reaction of the religious establishment of the time. In 1844, some 1200 years after the life and death of His Holiness the Prophet Muhammad, a young Persian man known as the Bab began to prepare humanity for the arrival of a great, new and universal messenger of God, Baha'u'llah. As a result, the Bab, an Arabic name meaning the gate, was considered a heretic and an infidel. He and more than 20,000 of his followers were killed. In 1863, Baha'u'llah claimed to be the one foretold by the Bab. He brought a new revelation that, like all the revelations of the past, came in two parts. The first comprises the spiritual teachings. These are common to all faiths and never change. They talk about the need to develop the capacity for love, compassion, trustworthiness, integrity, forgiveness, and all the other virtues. Baha'u'llah taught the equality of men and women, the essential harmony between science and religion, the need for each individual to search for truth independently of others, and he abolished the clergy. These teachings were largely rejected, partly because they were perceived as being contrary to the teachings of Muhammad, and partly because Muslims interpret the teachings of Muhammad to mean that there will be no messengers of God after him. As a result, Baha'u'llah, like the Bab, was considered a heretic and an infidel. So too are his followers. Thus, despite the fact that Baha'is recognise and accept Islam, a history of religious persecution and the deliberate misrepresentation of the Baha'i faith began in Iran. It has continued over the years with varying degrees of intensity and despite changes in government. With the 1979 revolution in Iran, militant fundamentalism reawakened the spirit of fanaticism and the persecution of the Baha'is intensified. 